Good afternoon, Redeemer family, and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on the psalm for this coming Sunday. The psalm for this coming Sunday is Psalm 103, verses 1 through 13. Psalm 103, verses 1 through 13. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward us, toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. Happy Valentine's Day. You know, Valentine's Day, you know, goes back to the uh, first couple of centuries at the time when the church was under severe persecution and um, a saint by the name of Saint Valentine was uh, doing the work of the Lord and at that time, you know, was known to encourage uh chastity through marriage and that's why we kind of celebrate um, the celebration of romantic love and Valentine's Day. Naturally St. Valentine did much more than that and uh, he did die as a martyr but the thought of love or the teaching of love was his main thing and love through obedience love through walking in God's ways. And so I want you to hear the couple of verses in this psalm that tell us of the nature of God's love in verse 8 and again in verse 11. Listen to verse 8 again. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. And verse 11 again. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. You know, so both in verse 8 and verse 11, we hear the term steadfast love. You know, and I'm not sure who wrote the book about the different love languages, but you know, we see and hear that that steadfast love of the Lord is shown to us by God in all of those different love languages. Not just in words, but in actions of service, in gifts, in touch, all of those different ways God shows his steadfast love, meaning his not only unconditional love, but love that doesn't change, love that doesn't fade, love that doesn't diminish, love that isn't uh, fickle, love that doesn't you know, adjust because of circumstance. And I, and I want you to hear that because what we're hearing before this and after it is the nature of that love of God. And that's the nature of the love that God wants us to have. So as we begin, we bless God's name. We bless it in the first two verses. Listen to verses 1 and 2 again. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. 
Then we start seeing the outpouring of the steadfast love of the Lord in the gifts that he gives, the works that he does, the actions that he takes, the service he provides, all the ways that he shows his love, not just in what he says, but especially in what he does. Starting in verse 3, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies your good, you with good, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to, Mer to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. And jumping down to verse 9. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. And then verse 12. As far as the... As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. See, in all of those things we are hearing, this is how God shows his steadfast love to us. This is how God expresses his steadfast love to us. This is how God displays and gives and um, provides his steadfast love to us. The steadfast love of the Lord endures forever. And so we hear that two-word phrase three different times in this section of Scripture. Three different times. The love of God the Father, the love of God the Son, and the love of God the Holy Spirit giving and providing, redeeming us, forgiving our sins, and giving us everlasting life. As they, the triune God, have given us these gifts and shown us this steadfast love, may we take our example of love from them, from him, and extend that and show that to each other. Forgiving one another's sins, providing for one another's spiritual and emotional needs, caring for one another with compassion and kindness and mercy. All of that is God's steadfast love toward us, and all of that ought to be the steadfast love of the Lord and the steadfast love we show to those around us. Show the steadfast love of the Lord and your steadfast love to those around you today as we celebrate Valentine's Day. In Jesus' name, amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, your steadfast love endures forever. And because your steadfast love endures forever and you have shown it to us, displayed it to us, given it to us in so many and so varying ways, May we you know, take your example and show that love to those around us, especially today, but always. Help us to give, help us to serve, help us to care compassionately for those around us, that they might experience your steadfast love through us, and that we might serve you in steadfast love by serving those around us. Fill us with your steadfast love. Show us its true nature, that we might express its true nature in everything that we do. In your name, amen. Have a blessed Valentine's Day. Show the steadfast love of Jesus to those around you, especially today. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day. <laughs>